obviously looking at hearing that new just the approach knowing you're playing the Nuggets. You're not going to have Booker out there with you in it. Obviously, an important game in terms of people wanting to see the game. So. Well, yeah, we just got to continue playing our game. You know, guys been in and out all year. We just got to figure out ways to win, and we got to continue scoring at it. You know, at a high clip like it, like we have been. Figure out ways to play faster and uh, and defensively just get after it a little bit more and get a little bit more scrappy. Like we're, uh, and I think we'll figure out ways to find wins. I'm curious, looking at Bradley, we haven't seen him obviously since he went out. How maybe they speak to maybe his progress? It looked like he looks. Clearly better than he did when he left. Yeah, I mean, I let him speak on that, but uh, you know, from the look of it, you know, he's looking definitely looking better, and uh, you know, hopefully, we have him out here on the court, you know, sooner than later. What challenges do, does Jokic just provide with, with this team and just going up against him? Obviously? Yeah, you know, he's a guy who can do a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, the pass, he can score one on one, and uh, you know, he almost plays really perfect basketball. And uh, for us, we gotta, we gotta, you know. Uh, we got to make it tough on them, turn them tough on them, you know, offensively, defensively, and uh, you know we got we got ways to strategize against them. How do you make it tough on them? Make it tough, you know, being physical, not making easy catches, and uh, you know you just don't want him to have that combination of scoring and, and assisting, which you know that's what he does. About the quarter mark of the season, where did you evaluate what you guys have done well and where you still kind of need to grow as a team? Well, it's early on. We're just we're starting to hit our strides, getting familiar with one another, and uh, you know the one the key is just having the chemistry, and we're we're getting there. And uh, you know, there's always going to be bumps and you know, roads uh, down the road, you know, with health or whatnot. But um, where we're at, you know, I was just saying these last seven eight games have been encouraging. What is that process like with you, you know, all the new players on the team, learning the mess and learning? The Exist. Well, yeah, things take time. You know, people forget. New coaching staff, a lot of new players. So, um, and, you know, a lot of injuries. So, uh, this might be the worst that you've seen early on this season. So, we're just we're just looking forward to trying to get better and better. And uh, things should get better as the season goes along. We've talked about your bully ball drives before. Nas is another guy that likes to put his head down and the basket. What have you seen from him? recently as he's gotten more Yeah, he's been playing very well, knocking down the shots, getting to the getting to the rim and uh, and also rebounding, which is that's definitely what we need and uh we just need him to continue doing that and this it helps our team a lot. You play with and against Yusuf for quite a few years. What what do you think about his game? What's it uh, I think he's the guy that we need for this kind of team. You know, he moves moves the ball very well, he rebounds and uh and he can score one on one when he feels like he needs and has to and uh, so I think he fits very well for the team. Good good and you know, good player and good compliment to our team. Is there a silver lining to sort of some of the injuries that you guys have had to navigate to this point in terms of opportunities for the guys? Um I would say, you know, chemistry wise, you know, it's always good to have everybody together, but it also helps our team, you know, as far as getting guys that might not play to, to get a chance to get that experience. So uh so it gives us a chance to for everybody to step up more and uh but but uh, of course chemistry wise you wanna figure out how we can piece it all together when everybody's there. As this thing is starting to come together, Ryan is getting a little bit more buzz at least naturally in terms of his system. What have you kinda of gleaned from him? Yeah, we're just, it's all about learning the system and of course we're going to get better along the way and, you know, it's still early in the season so I expect to, to be even better and better and uh, so it's, it's definitely a little different but, but uh, we get the grasp of it. Eric, how do you like the three guard look to start the game? I mean, Grayson obviously him coming back. How do you like that? Well, you got a lot of guys that, you know, me and him have a lot of experience playing on, you know, uh, on winning teams in our past, so we kind of know. I think we complement that well to the guys because we can shoot and try to make the right decisions, but also want those, you know, whether it's Book, Katie, or Brad, to make sure they always, uh, you know, play well because we're always trying to make the, the right plays, but also find ways to be aggressive as well. What did you learn from the Toronto game? I mean, they have a lot of length, and the Denver has some length too. So, what have you learned and adjusted to those types of teams in your life? Well, I mean. I mean, we didn't, we didn't get a chance to really, you know, kind of play our game, but, you know, things happen. And uh, But tonight we're here at home. It's, it's different. We know what we're up against. And uh, we just got to figure out a, 
figure out ways to just play our game and uh, take away some of the things they do best. I'm curious, what do you think you've learned from Devin Booker in the short time you've been with the Suns this season? Anything you've gleaned from him? Just well, you know, early on in his career, he's just been really a straight-up two-guard. And uh, now he's being more of a playmaker, which I knew, you know, he would have career eyes in almost out of every category because uh, you're going to be harder to guard when you are when you have the ball in your hands, playmaking a lot more. And because he already has the skill of, you know, shooting and creating his own shot. But when he's being a playmaker, you're almost going to be unstoppable when you stop. When you, when you hear people say that uh, – the Suns don't have a point guard. What do you, you think about that? I mean, to me, if you just have a point guard, you know, you're just going to have a guy that's in the middle of the floor just standing there. But it'd be good to, uh, always because on every team, every some of your top players on the team, they're going to have the ball a lot regardless. So you either want them to make a play or, or um, you know, score or make a play for someone else. So that's just what we need. And, uh, and because uh, other than them, you got to have shooters across the board. So yeah, that right. helps a lot, too. So maybe for sure. I mean, done well. Yes. Thanks, 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 Thanks,